we have this Cupertino app sample I just created that invokes the home page and the home page builds the Cupertino page scaffold. We center the standard app. I just remove the app bar and floating action button. We are going to handle create, read, update and delete. We are going to create data to Firestore. Let's remove the standard column here. I will remove everything I have in the column and I will return a simple container instead. On the page scaffold, we expect a navigation bar. I will provide a navigation bar, Cupertino navigation bar, and it expects to receive middle. Middle is the text in the middle. Firebase to do app. We add an action here to add and to be able to add a record into Firestore. The Cupertino navigation bar also expects a trailing and we pass a Cupertino button and the Cupertino button we pass the child, simple text, an empty text and on press callback when we click on the button. Here instead of a text we pass an icon, Cupertino icon add. Now we have here Cupertino icon add. Now we need to add an action when we click add it shows a model with a text bar so we can add text into Firebase. We are using Firestore emulator. I started the Firestore in my local machine. I will create some helper functions. We don't need incrementer. I will create a pop function that receives the context, passes the navigator pop the context. So it also I will add another variable that is task add controller task add controller equals to new controller text editing controller and also i will create another controller for edit task i will create a new variable instead of task add is task edit when you click on the button on the add button we do the following on the on press of the add icon we add a show cupertino model pop-up that expects a context we pass the context expects the builder we pass the cupertino pop-up surface builder that as a child has a background color white alignment center with infinity occupies the whole width height 150 and the child for now is a container and instead of a container we're gonna pass a column child and the first element of the column will be a cupertino button and the cupertino button we have a child text and on press we pass the callback for on press when we click plus it shows the model with done the idea is when we click the done it will add an entry to firestore and the second element of the column will be a cupertino text field we pass the controller when we pass the task at controller variable we just created here we read the text here from the user input we click done and we store on firebase let's add some padding here to the test editing controller we'll go to the cupertino text field we add padding and we have some padding perfect now the goal is when we click done this button here on the model we should add any text here if it is not empty to firestore let's go to the on press callback task add editing controller text equals equals null we don't do anything we return in or better empty if the text is empty of the controller we return and we wait for the user to input a valid text then we call firestore instance collection and we add to the tasks collection dot add and we add the data that will be title and will be the task add controller dot test after adding to firestore we should clear the task add controller we call task added controller text we clear with an empty text and then we go back to the previous screen that is pop and we pass the context on my left i have firestore on my local machine let's test the app there's no collections yet let's click add task one done and we see here the data was added let's click add again task two add and we have two tasks task two and task one add again task three and so on you see here the data is added so we have the create part of firebase now let's read all the tasks from firestore in this page we can close the cupertino navigation bar now here on the center on the main on the body of the Cupertino page scaffold, instead of returning a container, we are going to return a Flutterfire UI widget that is Firestore list view 
a map of a string and dynamic because from Firestore we receive a map a key string value dynamic we have to import the Firestore list view we need to, pa to pass some data here that will be the query will be Firebase Firestore instance collection and we pass the collection name that is tasks then also we need to pass the item builder that will build each element of Firestore the item builder expects context and snapshot and we pass the builder the, re the resulting widget we do return container for now also we have another uh, builder we can pass to this list view that is loading builder when we are waiting for data from firestore we pass this waiting builder that re receives a context and we pass the builder for now i will pass the cupertino activity indicator then on the container we pass a text that will be each element of the snapshot snapshot data and the key is title we have the list of tasks let's improve the ui i will add a padding on the text let's wrap the widget with padding and we have something more ux friendly so until now what we have done display a list of all tasks from firebase add a task to firebase and now let's delete a task from firebase to delete a task to firebase i will attach to each item to each text element a cupertino context menu so let's remove this text element from here for now let's save it here comment it out let's add a cupertino context menu we need to pass the child and we pass back the text then we need to pass more parameters that will be action the list of action of type cupertino context menu action we pass our first action and we pass a second action as well the first action will have a child as edit label the second action we have a child as delete then each item action we need to pass on press callback and we press the callback for now an empty callback we long press on task 3 we see the context menu to each item we see a context menu and then we can invoke an action to this menu to delete an uh, item from Firestore. To delete an item, on the on press callback of delete, I will call Firestore instance collection and is the task collection. Then I will get the specific ID, doc ID, and the doc ID is from the current snapshot.id. Then we just invoke the delete, it will delete and we pop back on firestore we have task 2 task 4 and task 3 now let's delete the task 3 long press on task 3 delete now let's delete the task 4 long press on task 4 delete and the task 4 was deleted from firebase let's add another task task 3 task 3 was added to firebase let's delete the task 2 delete and the task 2 was deleted from firebase that's the delete what we cover until now the add items to firestore display a list of items from firestore delete an item from firestore when we display a list from firestore here i'm displaying all the records if i want to filter the records i can use the where keyword to filter specific records or i can do order by to order records let's add more tasks task one task four the edit is the same implementation of the add we're gonna copy the same code and the only difference is instead of using task add controller we are going to use task edit controller let's go to our navigation cupertino navigation bar on the on press of the cupertino add button we have cupertino model pop-up we copy the model pop up control c we close back the navigation bar and we go to our action that is the edit action on the edit action we paste the cupertino pop-up surface and we also need to pop back on the cupertino model pop-up we use the task editor controller so we have here the edit we have the column we have cupertino done cupertino button we have the text field instead of tasks add controller we pass task edit controller and also the action is not add is edit but edit on a specific document that is snapshot.id and we do update but is not update from the task add controller 
is task edit controller we copy task edit controller we also need to assign a text to task edit controller so when we start this widget there is no need to check if it is empty because we are going to assign the task edit controller text to snapshot data and the title we assign the task editing controller to the snapshot data to the current item we need to assign this before on press so we need to do this assignment before calling the cupertino model pop-up so we do assignment here task edit controller text equals to the data title the current data item title then we show the cupertino model pop-up on the cupertino model pop-up the user will enter or update a new title he will press done button and on press the done button we update the firestore we clear up the task edit controller and we pop when we long press on the context menu we have edit and delete we need to click edit and wait for the user to do an action on the Cupertino model pop-up and then go back so the model pop-up needs to add from the user input so we have to add an await and adding an await it is an async method it, it will wait the result of this pop-up and then we'll do pop context again we have firebase on the left we have task one task three and task four on firebase let's edit the task one edit it shows the model pop-up with the task one title we add 15 task 15 we click done it was renamed here on the list automatically and on firebase it was edited as well let's edit again the task 15 something else 88 done and the task 88 was edited and it was edited on firebase as well the crude is completed for firebase what we cover in this video is playing all the data from firebase add elements to firebase task 7 it will add an entry to firebase delete an entry from firebase deletes an entry from firebase edit an entry on firebase edit the entry on firebase